crypto is up in arms over what Richard Hart did. You know, I really, I, I don't know what it is. Okay, I know what it is. It is the, the, if you notice, it's hard to even put this into pieces, not because of the incident. It's not that. I'm going to hit you guys. I'm sorry. But if you're listening, right? CryptoTalkRadio.net. We don't like to do need 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 We don't, and I've never trashed outright hex or pulse or any of that. I did say before, you know, what I see with it was that people were kind of tired of hex. I said that, and it felt like it was it hit a glass ceiling. It felt like it wasn't going to go anywhere, and it and I didn't know if that was because people were waiting on pulse chain. Well, pulse chain's out. Pulse Chain's volume is obviously blowing Shibarium out of the water, but it's not where you would expect it to be, given the hype behind it. So I don't think it's that. I think with, so you didn't know what happened because you stay away from social media. Kudos to you if you're you. But what happened is that Richard Hart on Twitter sent a message that effectively said, you know, the Ethereum version of Hex is not the real Hex. The real Hex is the one on Pulse Chain because why are you? Because he, his vision is all around this staking and there's a whole mechanic. I'm not going to bore you, but bottom line is there's a, there's a, a mining function. There's a staking function. There's a claim function. There's all these things. And he was saying, because Ethereum's gas prices are spiking, you're, you're getting ripped off staying on the Ethereum. Why aren't you going on pulse chain where it's infinitely cheaper? Now I, I understand what he's trying to do. The timing is a little bit ironic because you got Ethereum going on a run so people might have been at all-time profits. And so then what happened as a result of this is Hex dumped. It dumped crazy, almost bottomed out, dumped major crazy. The whales are still in it and they're still stacking because I think some of the whales, and when I say whales, we're talking people on the central exchanges, by the way. But I think some of the whales, they they understand that regardless of, some of them don't even watch social media. They don't even know. They just think, okay, it's a dip, whatever people sold. <laughs> but they know that because it's paired to Ethereum, it's going to probably run again. So I think that's probably the mentality. And then again, I've said that most are not going to care about your alternate chains and all that. They don't care. They're just transacting on the central exchanges and Pulse Chain is not integrated with the vast majority of them. So even if they wanted to, they're not going to do it. They're not going to go to the descend side and do that, which was what Rich was trying to do because he's done this before. He's done a tweet that just killed the business. So you knew what you were up against is my point. Number one, number two, this is a guy who twerked on camera in front of you and you still celebrated him. Number three, I saw on coin market cap and I'm going to be digging into those various messages. Cause I think it's hilarious. It's unfortunate, but it's hilarious. It's, you know, with people frustrated saying, well, they fell for it. They fell for the trick. They fell for the hopium. They listened to it, you know, Stockholm syndrome. Right. And my message to everybody out there, if you're trading hex because you're on an exchange, nothing's different really, other than you just got a major freaking discount because it's possible it goes back on a run, especially if it hits a certain resistance, it may just jump straight back up to where it was. The second thing I want you to consider, and this is important, remember that the Ethereum based hex by and large, not totally, but by and large is the decentralized version of it. So the one that's on pulse chain isn't truly because obviously Pulse Chain is managed by Richard Hardy's team. So the thought that some people, and this wasn't me, this was some people that brought it out, said, well, the Ethereum Hex is really ours. It's really the community's version of it. So if you go to the Pulse Chain, you're saying you don't want to have a token that's yours. You want to go and be managed by somebody else. And maybe that's what you want to do. But think about that too. It doesn't, I don't think it matters which way you go. I, I'm looking at it as, well, they, you just got a major freaking discount because of why ever it dipped because yes it's possible that people i think it was cells i don't think people jumped to pulse chain because when we looked at the numbers it didn't look like people just immediately jumped to pulse chain it looked like people just sold they just said okay screw you then bro we're just going to sell out of it and there was a lot of them but we also saw that whales are still holding and they're stacking off the dips so i'm not giving you any specific advice because as i said i've never covered hex although i know there are some people in hex who have listened to the show and they've come and said hey we we listen to your show. We share it. Uh, and so hopefully this gets shared as well. If this reaches, that's why I'm going to put this on YouTube. Because I want it to reach to, as an impassioned plea, what he did, he's done before. So you already have a pattern, as I said, with the car salesman on Seifu. This is why I avoided Hex, because it, him, right? You get certain of these, quote, influencers, and they just give me a bad vibe, and there's something going on. 
and I can't put my finger on what it is, finger on the pulse, no pun intended, and I don't want to piss anybody off necessarily. I don't want to offend because I think there's good people in the Hex ecosystem, and uh, many of them were harmed by this. I'll give you the other counter argument on the comments. That was that if you were a long-term holder, then you would have had a duplicate set of Hex that's on Pulse Chain when it was, because it's basically a fork and they copied. So you have a set of Hex on Pulse Chain and Pulse Chain went on a, a price run. So what you would need to do if you didn't know that. So if you if you were holding prior from prior to when Pulse Chain, prior to the the whole, you know, sacrifice and everything else, and you were holding major bag and then you got harmed by this one, and you didn't know that your whatever that bag was was copied over to Pulse Chain. That's that is true, right? So you would need to set up your wallet to connect to Pulse Chain, and you'll be able to add the hex version of Pulse Chain to your wallet, and presumably recoup some of those losses. As in, what's being presented is you didn't really lose anything. You just got to get them from Pulse Chain. The counter argument, and I'm in this vein, is that assumes that somebody was holding bags prior, not necessarily that they bought in you know, since, right? If you bought in after that, you're not getting that major bag and you did get, quote, wrecked, do no fault of your own. And the messaging coming from Richard Hart's side is, well, too bad, so sad, you should have known, I told you this is what it is, this is where we're going. That's no, because he even said in some other thing, he doesn't want a low price hex, he wants hex to be higher price. Well, how could you justify that and then put out a message that you gotta know is gonna cause a major drop? So anyway, that's what I got out there, folks. I'll probably do a follow-on on this because it's such a unfortunate situation. And again, if you're in the Hex ecosystem, you're in one of those categories. You either were before it, and if you're before it, you should have a bag on Pulse Chain. You'll need to connect your wallet to Pulse Chain so that you can see those, and then you can transact them. But what you would have to do, because I tried, you know, I went on there. I think it's crap. I think it's a terrible chain and it's too clunky for the layman user in my personal opinion, but it is doable. So if you get in there, you can access those tokens that are there. You can trade them just like any other token. There's a, there's a couple of swaps that you can use to swap them if you want to cash them out or you can bridge what you have over there. I wouldn't recommend that because you're going to get the lower value and you're going to get hit as well. So you do have options as far as what's on the pulse chain side. If you bought in after Pulse chain became a thing. And so you bought later. So you're a newer quote unquote trader that yes, you did get wrecked. And my message is consider this a major discount because essentially a lot of people that were holding the line sold out from what I can tell, which created a major dip for you, which may be perceived as a discount, which could strengthen your position. And you'll have to decide if you want to do that, or if you want to go into the pulse chain hex, otherwise known as P-Hex, or think about whether Ethereum Hex is what you want to do because it's the community one versus the P-Hex side, or if you want to say, screw you, Richard Hart, and that's also a viable option. You're going to need to decide for yourself, but you've got different ways that you can go, and there's risk too, right? If you go, the, the E-Hex, as it is, Ethereum, it's on pretty much every exchange, so it's not like it's not like it could easily get trashed. It's pretty much, it's like SHIB. It's pretty much out there. It's it's the communities now. It's in their hands. So there's there's a thought process that's pretty strong. If you support PHEX, just because of the gas fees, there's no problem with that, but realize what it means. It means it's not the community's token. And the EHEX is the community's token, but there's a price to pay because of the skyrocketing gas fees. Dancun's not gonna solve that because Dancun is L2, gas fee. So PHEX would benefit presumably from that. Ethereum would not. Now that said, the price of Ethereum as a pair for liquidity for HEX on the Ethereum chain is going to benefit HEX at some point. And as I said, from what we can all tell, the whales seem to be holding the line on that one. So they're not letting go of it because they're all in the central exchange. Stuff to thought, think about. I apologize for anybody who got wrecked anyway, you know, because I think it's unfortunate. And this is why I don't I don't go after ones getting a lot of hype. This is why, because there's too much you get. It's almost like a honeypot. It's not, but I'm saying it's almost like it. it's like you're enticing a bunch of people to a central something and then you trash them. And that's not the way we should be treating people. That's not the way we should treat the community. And certainly again, the hex community feels like good people, generally speaking, that just, they listen to the guy, why ever they do. I, I don't find him charming at all. They listen to him and, and this is what happens. So it's a lesson learned and make a decision whether you stay on Ethereum, 
you go to Pulse Chain Hex or you just say screw him and go to something else. All of those are acceptable things. And I want you to make sure you're happy with whatever you decide. 